do you think uh, wrote Chronicles and Kings? Which, uh, who wrote those books? Well, we don't really know. And this is one of the great mysteries. There's, there's nobody that can definitively say who wrote Kings and Chronicles. Some people believe, according to Jewish tradition, that Ezra could have written First and Second Chronicles um, and, and uh, the book of Kings uh, may have been written by the prophet Jeremiah, but we don't know for sure on that. And uh, so nobody would be actually, um, I think, foolish enough to say, oh, absolutely, positively. Someday we'll know in heaven, but I think right now we don't really know, Brad, unless you've got some other insight there. Yeah, I, I, have, uh, I have no insight. I just, the only comment I would make is, uh, what I find uh, really actually um, interesting and supportive is how uh, they are very. There's a lot of overlap, uh, and uh, and yet uh, they, they just they just validate each other for uh, you know for uh, for relevancy. You know, when I was a boy, I was reading through the Bible and I I skipped. I think it was First and Second Kings, and well, that's just too repetitious. I don't have to waste my. But the the point is, <laughs> I, don't, I don't. I encourage people don't skip any part of the Bible. Uh, but the point is. Uh, that uh, that overlap just validates um, they validate each other in a very uh, important way because it deals with such a, a large segment of history, uh, and I think it's really great that God, uh, by His grace, uh, gave us uh, not just First and Second Kings but also First and Second Chronicles and um, and also First and Second Samuel, and it's uh, it's a, a real blessing to to have both and have they, how they all uh, affirm each other.